Hi everybody, Brandy here doing my comments from my Stampin' Studio today. And today I wanted to share with you all some tips on how to do some tracking of your Pinterest pins through Google Analy Analytics. Alright, so right now I am on my Google Analytics page for my Stamp Me Some Love um, website. And I want to go through and figure out which pins are driving a lot of the traffic to my website from Pinterest. And the reason why I want to do this is because, one, it, it shows to me what type of content is um, uh, interesting to my readers. Two, it also helps me to determine what types of pins um, are are perform overall um, better than others and then three it kind of helps me determine what boards that I'm pinning my pins to that are getting um, most of the traffic so let's go dive in and hopefully you can see my screen here um, on the left hand side here um, you want to click on acquisition all right and then we're going to scroll down to social and then we're going to um, click on network referrals and this is going to help us determine where the traffic is coming from on Pinterest. Actually, it'll help us determine where the traffic's coming from from all of our social networks. All right, I'm going to change my search date here and I'm going to put it six months out. It's usually how I like to look at my analytics. All right, the top, these little graphs right here, this will show you um, your sessions um, from your social referrals and then your overall sessions, which would include your um, organic or direct traffic. Now, as you can see, I don't have a lot of traffic in general um, the first few months uh, uh, well, you know, I've been doing this blog since August of last year, and I really didn't start to pick up um, momentum until I got into May, which coincides with um, a uh, time that I decided to take uh, Jennifer Mar uh, Jennifer Maker's uh, Love Lifts class, and I did that in May, and that's where you you start to see a lot of this traffic um, happen. Then I also took her um, Pinterest. Um, launch plan um, and I'll, I'll link all of that to um, the notes down below um, but those are the two things that I went through that really started to help me grow the traffic to my website and understand a little bit more about how to um, track where things are coming from to make better decisions about my business and my blog okay so enough of that so down below here you're gonna see all of your social networks and you will also notice that in the last six months, Pinterest has been driving most of the traffic um, to my website, and that's about 56%. Um, and I think that if we were to look at this a little bit deeper, we would probably find that Pinterest really started to um, drive traffic to me somewhere around um, in the June, July timeframe, because that's when I got really serious about Pinterest. I was not serious about Pinterest all along this time frame. So overall, that means that even in the last um, six months, uh, Pinterest has been really big. But I think if we looked at it closer, we would see that most of that is coming um, in June, July, and now in August. Okay, so if we click on Pinterest, this is going to show us all of the pages that Pinterest is sending traffic to. And so my top page that Pinterest is sending traffic to is my how to use your stamparatus to stamp your sentiment straight. It's a very popular post and as you can see out of all of my pages that Pinterest is sending to, they're sending 47% to this one page. So number one, that tells me that I better have a good call to action on that page and something to convert readers as they come through. And if I remember correctly, I have a, um, a um, convert form on that page and I do get a lot of people signing up for my resource library, which then ultimately puts them on my email list. 
So this is good information to know. If I click on um, that link and dig a little bit deeper, uh, we're going to see um, the different pages or rather pins from Pinterest that's driving all that traffic to that one page. Now the first um, referrer usually is always Pinterest.com and that is because a lot of that has to do with um, um, oh mobile app. Um, Google Analytics doesn't seem to know how to separate um, the mobile app and so it just lumps it all into Pinterest.com. So it's not really helpful. You can't really see much here, um, but it is, you know, helpful to understand that, you know, a good chunk of um, traffic that's coming to the website is coming from the mobile version. And that's just something for me to keep in mind and when I'm designing my pins is to make sure that I am um, pinning them or creating those pins that are going to be attractive and optimized for mobile. All right, so if we see this uh, link down in the second position, we're going to notice that, that it's a, um, an actual pin. And if I click on that, it's going to bring me to the screen, and then I can do this little trick. I'm going to um, highlight the, um, the URL. I'm going to right click. Now, I think this only works on Chrome, so if you're going to be doing this, make sure you do it on Chrome. There may be other ways to do it in Safari and Firefox, but I'm not sure. And then I'm going to um, scroll down to where it says go to Pinterest.com forward slash pin and then the number. And then I'm just going to click on that. And then basically it's going to pull up um, a where the pin is that's um, driving a lot of that traffic. And if you will notice here, um, you see at the top you've got your, your statistics. And I am getting um, 24,000 impressions on this. This is in the last six months. And I actually didn't publish this until July 13th, so it's not really in the last six months, but um, in the last, gosh, uh, just just in a month, um, I've gotten 24,000 impressions, and 155 people have, um, or not people, there's 155 different saves to different boards on Pinterest. It could be one person pinning to multiple boards, or it could be just um, a person pinning to one board. It just, it, you won't know um, that from looking at this. Um, what else is interesting though, this is what you really wanna be focusing on is the number of click-throughs. So 340 clicks to my website. Now usually you will see this number, the saves are a lot bigger than the um, clicks because um, oftentimes people, because Pinterest is kind of a visual um, curating um, search feature and it's a, a way for you to kind of store your ideas in an organized format, people will typically just save it to their Pinterest board. They may or may not go back and actually click on it and then click through to your website. Um, and so this number is typically smaller. But this pin uh, must be doing really well for me because it tells me that people are pinning it and then they're clicking through more than once. And so that's a really good thing. The other thing I want to notice down here is that I saved it. Um, so this is a pin that I saved myself and it went to um, this group board that I belong to. Um, it's not my group board, but uh, I belong to the group and I, you know, pin to it occasionally. And so this particular group board is doing really well for me. So, which means that I probably won't be leaving this group anytime soon. All right, so let's go back. Okay, now let's look at one of these other um, pins. Let's look at this one. All right, then I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to right click there. Okay, again, it's the same pin. Now, I believe I have one or two pins for this website, so or for this blog post. So I will have to kind of dig a little bit deeper to see if any of the other um, pins that I created for this blog is um, working. But right now, this one seems to be a very popular um, format or it's very popular pin. All right, if I scroll down here, you will see that um, somebody by the name of Anita saved it to her stamping up cards board. 
Um, this is the description that I added. She did not add that. Um, and then, of course, it gives me a little truncate um, of the actual post itself. So that tells me that, um, you know, Anita has been doing um, a lot of work for my website by posting it to one of her boards. So that's awesome. Anita, if you see this video, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so that kind of gives you an idea there. All right, now let's go back and look at another page. Come on. All right, so let's look at the sunset technique. Brusho sunset technique. This is another one of my popular on posts and I'm going to click on this top link 20 referrals 20 um, uh, visits or I believe page views or yes page views or sessions excuse me 20 sessions there's actually 25 page views from this particular link or this uh, this pin all right and we're gonna see down here um, only 5,000 um, um, impressions. Um, this one was pinned a little bit further back. This was in um, June. So it's about two months. Today is the 16th. And uh, I've got 46 saves and 31 clicks. And that's pretty typical as far as um, your saves being higher than your click throughs. But the more click throughs you get, of course, the more eyeballs you get on your website. This one was also pinned by somebody else other than myself. And she saved it to her board that's called Stampin' and Cards Enjoy Life. Now, if I wanted to, I could go and visit um, Jean's um, page and see what kind of board she has. As you can see, she looks like a typical pinner. She doesn't look like she's a blogger, but I could be wrong. She does have a lot of stamping stuff. And so if I felt inclined, I could probably reach out to her and thank her for pinning um, uh, one of my pins and tell her um, that, uh, um, try to figure out maybe if she's a blogger and if she's got material or material content that she needs help um, putting out there. Maybe we can collaborate together and help each other um, get our, our different individual pins um, out there and getting more traffic to our website. So that's an idea. All right, well, I think that is it for now. Um, I hope you all found this um, video helpful. Um, I'm going to be posting a lot more of these types of videos on my Facebook group that's called Create and Blog Like You Mean It. So if you're interested in getting some more of these tips and tricks related to Pinterest or blogging in general, um, hop on over to there. And, um, and if you're in the group right now, um, then just know that we're going to be, I'm going to be posting a lot more of these um, videos to kind of help you with your blogging journey. All right. Take care. Life happens. I comment. Stamp me some love. Bye-bye.